Never bring a knife to a gunfight. It's a popular trope that has been in all sorts of movies and TV shows, and in all types of genres too. A character confidently commits to a fight with a weapon they think is appropriate, only to realize they're completely outclassed by their opponent. The saying can also be seen as a metaphor. When somebody tells you to never bring a knife to a gunfight, nine times out of 10, they're telling you to make sure you're prepared for the task at hand. Like an exam, for example, you wouldn't want to be underprepared for that. In the biggest MMO server that is known as the world, war and conflict has always been a part of its history. So finding ways to efficiently outclass your opponent has been proven to be important. And players from different parts of the map all had their own ways of doing so. You had katanas, spears, axes. Everyone had their own build that they thought was the best. There was a lot of diversity. And then the gun patch came along. It had the most range, it one-shots easily, and the amount of effort required to use one is so little it's actually scary. So of course, it didn't take long for everyone to start using them. And to this day, guns have remained at the top of the meta for the best handheld weapon. To be honest, I think the devs need to change their drop rate, because it seems like everyone has them and they're way too OP. But what if I told you there's a place where you not only could get away with bringing a knife to a gunfight, but nothing at all? where this is just as strong as this. Welcome to the world of fighting games. In here, things don't necessarily have to be accurate to real life. Characters can have super strength, shoot projectiles out of their hands, and some of them can do stuff like this. So it's not the end of the world if a fighting game decides to have characters with guns, but it definitely can be weird. Usually when you hear the word fighting games, you think of martial arts, wrestling, karate, basically anything that has to do with hand-to-hand -hand combat. So when you add guns into the mix, it's kind of hard to see how it would work. There's nothing really martial art about shooting a gun. And for a while, there were no guns in fighting games. But more recently, we've started to see fighting games embrace all sorts of weapons, not just guns. Giant swords, magical staffs, metal anchors, and even a nail? So this begs the question, if there are gun characters in a game, how do the devs make them balanced? Because if they choose to make them realistic, then the gun wins every time. Every fighting game has their own ways of integrating guns. For example, Rahala decided to move one of the main characteristics that makes up a gun, the bullet. It's probably why they decided to call it blasters instead, since they don't actually shoot projectiles. The muzzle flash that occurs when shooting blasters are the actual hitboxes. This basically turns the gun into a close range weapon. And even though it has some of the farthest reaching hitboxes in the game, you still have to be relatively close to land an attack. You can't be far away since there is no actual projectile. The moveset also has integral attacks like down light and neutral light that keep you in place for a while. With blasters, you have to place your shots precisely, like you would with a real handgun. Fail to do so, and your opponent can punish you easily. This is why blasters are considered a tough weapon to learn in Brawlhalla. You have to be accurate and consistent to truly reap the benefits of playing blasters. In Guilty Gear Strive, the character Happy Chaos has twin revolvers that work like their real life counterparts. Unlike Brawlhalla's blasters, they have actual bullets that you can shoot from full screen. Something to note though is that they don't have any travel time, so the shot is instant. He mostly uses one gun unless he's doing special moves, but that's besides the point. In order to make this a fair fight, the revolvers have a finite amount of bullets, and the concentration gauge dictates what moves you can do. So managing that bar and choosing when to reload efficiently is important when playing Happy Chaos. His gun is his main damage output, so if you have no bullets, you're basically defenseless. Another notable gun character in the Guilty Gear series is Elfelt. Instead of using one gun, why not have three guns for each occasion? A shotgun for close combat, a pistol for medium range, and a rifle for long distance. All of them have their time and place to use it. This gives the character more options and variety than just having a singular gun. There's more you can do, and it also lets you be comfortable playing up close because you have a close range weapon. Now with each of these examples, although they integrate guns well, there's a distinction in the feel of characters that wield guns versus the characters that don't. Most of the time, if you have a long range weapon, you're forced to stay away from your opponent and keep distance. The combo game truly suffers as a result. But in a game called Blaze Blue, they've managed to make guns feel like an extension of your hands, rather than a separate weapon. 
Noel Vermillion's moveset features a plethora of combos that mix shots from your weapon and physical hits from it too, accompanied with kicks as well. This fighting style doesn't make you feel like you have to be further away to produce damage. You can be as up close and personal as your opponent is. Now I want to give an honorable mention to one more gun character, one that might be nostalgic to you if you grew up in the 80s. If you were in Japan, you probably knew him as Rockman. You may remember him looking like this, or this, and maybe this. Most of you probably could tell by the first picture, but yes, I'm talking about Mega Man. But what about this version of Mega Man? A 30-year-old man who's been through divorce court a couple times. The footage you're seeing right now is from Street Fighter Cross Tekken released in 2012. I'm not completely sure why Capcom decided to go with this art style for him, but I assume it has to do with this specific box art. Because it's the only one I've seen where he has a real gun. Also, something just looks off because he has a beer belly, but he's also really muscular at the same time. Also, while this game came out, Mega Man Legends 3 was going to be released but got cancelled. So this kind of feels like a slap in the face to Mega Man fans. The moveset they gave him is also pretty interesting. Of course he has a gun, right? So he's going to use it. But there's this weird move where you can simultaneously shoot forwards and down at the same time. So if you want to hit someone with the downwards shot, you kind of have to jump above them so the projectile can hit them. He also has a surprising amount of close range normals that he can combo with. He even has a Shuriken. I guess it makes it less weird when you consider the fact that Pac-Man was in the game as well. Like they gave him a full like mecha suit, I don't know what they were thinking to be honest. My guess is that since they were DLC and didn't come with the base roster, they were both just made for money. <laughs> I mean it's just so obscure to have these characters. And they also had two cats as well, which I think were PlayStation mascots, I honestly don't remember. Overall. I think having guns in fighting games is a nice break from the typical Shoto or sword fighter we see all the time. Yes, they can be annoying as most of them are inherently zoners, but if they are designed well, they can both be fun to play as or play against. So let me know what you think. Do you think guns should be in fighting games or should they strictly stick to martial arts? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Also join the Discord to stay up to date on when new videos come out. I'm also doing another Amazon Prime bundle giveaway. So if you want to have the chance to win it, make sure to join the Discord using the link in the description. As always, I hope you guys have a good day. Peace. Never bring a gun to a knife fight. Never bring a gun. Really?